After Alcoa gets downgraded today, just one week ahead of reporting earnings. So is there a bigger message for investors? Hmm, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's bring in our own Adam Johnson. So let's talk about Alcoa. What's going on with Alcoa? Always closely watched. Oh, yeah, always closely watched. And that is, of course, Carol, because it's always the first S&P right. company to report going into earnings season. They're going to report next week. So it's sort of viewed as a barometer of what might be on the horizon for earnings. Now, it was downgraded today, again, a week before the earnings release. Right. So here's what's going on, and this is why it's relevant. The, uh, the firm was uh, Freeman Billings Ramsey, first of all. They downgraded uh, based upon A, slower growth assumptions about China, and B, inventory overhang. Both of those comments are actually irrelevant. Um, first, the inventory overhang, you would say, yeah, but that's just unique to aluminum, isn't it? Well, actually, if you think about what's happening in a larger sense, so much capacity has been pulled down, whether you're talking uh, coal companies, steel companies, which we've been talking about, maybe turning, uh, airlines operating at lower capacity, et cetera, et cetera. Capacity and excess inventory is an issue for the economy still in a larger sense, mm -hmm. number one. And, of course, number two, uh, there's the argument that effectively China and or Asia, in a greater sense, will be lifting or leading the U.S. out of recession. Well, they may, but it may take a little longer, and that's why the downgrade today of Alcoa is particularly important ahead of earnings. So that is what's happening so, at SBR. So, you know, I wonder about the earnings picture because we're going to talk with Eric Marshall of Hodges Capital, and he, he points out that earnings are going to improve before the economy, but a lot of that is because of cost-cutting. Are we going to see any earnings improvement at Alcoa as they... You know, after they brought down capacity or as they do their own cost cuts? Yeah, uh, Alcoa, like many other companies, have effectively brought down their production and their whole cost structure so that they can ramp up very quickly. And, and analysts say that that will become apparent in the numbers. It just might take a little bit longer. Now, there's something that was very interesting released earlier today, and that was uh, uh, money flows out of Asian hedge funds. Mm -hmm. uh, an organization called EPFR notes that this was the first week since March that money flowed out of Asian, Asian hedge funds. 1.87 billion to be exact. Uh, the comment being they have run a little too far, too fast. And of course, that's what FBR's analyst is saying about Alcoa. Too far, too fast. These things could take a little more time. Adam, just got a few seconds left yeah. here. What about a bigger story? I think uh, Tobias Lefkovich talked a little bit about earnings and so on and so forth. We're getting ready for earnings. Yeah. What's yeah, the bigger he, story? He's saying that everyone is expecting a 34 that earnings are going to be down 34 percent year over year he said the real story is if you look out to q4 and there there's a lot of optimism that's getting built in specifically defensive tech and retail might be a little worrisome cap goods and insurance okay but it's an issue right